Bro, this is for posh white people. They do not know these sports, bro. It's not going to happen if you're parking in the disabled bay to avoid a parking charge, you absolute piece of shit. Bro. So you yeah. ghost wrote for Snoop. Yeah. What does it sound like? Everybody and welcome to Sounds Like, the only panel show that's all about rhyme. I'm the host of this shit and I've chose some nitwits to get into some jokey mischief. It's the humble G as important as Bumblebee's is Shuffle T. <laughs> Joining me as always in Rhyme Square, we fired him but he was re-employed. <laughs> right rhymes and needlepoint, it's what he enjoys, it's Jimmy Bloys. Jamie, B Jamie Blees. <laughs> Jamie Bloys, I love Jamie Bloys, I like that. The return of Tony D. There he is. I'm sober this time. It's Blees, the man that you worship when we've done the show in lockdown. We have had to resurface. We were coming home. It's not now. It's Liam Bagnall and Skirmish, Uncle Tone and Doc Brown. Uh, yeah. All right. You got, uh, you got some rhymes to like kick off with? Teaser rhymes. Let's get them thinking, man. So if I said the scheme was cross-legged or prosthetic, okay, on the same scheme, I have three more. First clue is if you are quick-tempered. Hot-headed. Hot Hot-headed, yeah. Ooh. Nice. I got that. Do we get points for this? Because that's mine. No, you get no oh, points. Relax, relax. It's not even started yet, bruv. Relax, man. Second clue is British comedian. Um, Rob Beckett. Rob Beckett. Oh, Fuck John I Legend. Know. I don't know about comedian. John Legend. <laughs> <laughs> John Lennon. That, that's for pop legend, John Legend, John Lennon, the pop legend, like that. Yeah, yeah cold, cold. <laughs> Last one is American actor. <sighs> nah, don't, Will Smith, the only one. <laughs> Will Smith and his film scripts, that's crude. <laughs> He's always known for the tash. Oh, Tom Selleck. Oh, Tom, Tom, Tom Selleck. Selleck. Tom Selleck, there you go. Nice one, lads. Tom um, Selleck, excellent. Okay, we've got some amazing guests with us today. So let's get on with the introductions. It's the wordsmith turned snitch. Yes, you heard it. In Rhyme Asylum, he was worship, but nowadays he's just shit. It's skirmish. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, bro. It's not as brutal as I thought it was going to be, so. And what now? Seen him on TV so many times that I've lost count. Known from London to Moscow, I assume. It's Doc Brown. <laughs> beautiful. <laughs> That's nice. Thanks, Shaf. That's beautiful. Next up's the GOAT. Second time he's come on the fucking show. Let's bloody hope this time he's not a drunkard, though. It's Uncle Tone. <laughs> <laughs> right, and finally, Beautiful. the shittest person on the channel. Pretending to like him is the longest hassle. Always takes a loss at Scrabble. It's Body Bagnall. There he is. Hello. Hi. <laughs> Me. Round one, rhymes in the wild. This is where each contestant is charged with finding two items that make the best rhyme that they can in real life from around the houses. Please, can you give us an example to set the fucking tone, you son of a bastard? So I have some uh, shampoo here. So it's a uh, tea tree tingle. Tea tree tingle, right. And here I have a uh, cheesy single. <laughs> nice. Oh. nice. 64 slices of American cheese. <laughs> Tony D, let's start with you. True or false? You've recently had coronavirus. True, true. I still got the cough to prove it, man. My chest rattles that. Like, like, it's awful, bro. All it's... right, go on then. Give me a cough. Um, I, I can't do it on command, fella. Like, oh, come on, look. Here we go. <laughs> 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 Beat that. Beat that. He was faking it's not, earlier. He's faking, isn't it? Yeah, it's not nice though, man. It's absolutely brutal. What's your what's your what's your what's your rhyme in the fire? Um, you know what? Yeah, like I literally I forgot I was even doing this today until I opened WhatsApp. <laughs> like uh, but I tell you what time I opened it's 625. Oh for <laughs> fuck's sake, Tone. Hey. <laughs> so I had a quick look around and <laughs> what? An air fryer. Right. 
Yeah. Hair dryer. I know. Yeah, yeah it's gonna yeah. be hair dryer. Yeah. Of course, it's gonna be a hair dryer. <laughs> What, what, what else rhymes with air fryer? <laughs> air cider <laughs> and spare tire. Uh, am I supposed to bring a wheel into my kitchen? <laughs> I literally <Bear> liars. <laughs> I literally, liars. I literally walked, walked into my kitchen earlier, saw my hair dryer, and thought, oh, I wish I had an air fryer. <laughs> <laughs> it's solid. All right, you've got it. That's in your bag. You keep that. You're going home with a hairdryer. Right. <laughs> Next up is Skamish. Now, the last time I was talking to this guy's rude, brother. <laughs> got Next... No manners, brother. <laughs> <laughs> last time I was talking to you, yes, you said was. you were working on some amazing music. Mm. Um, but I've seen some of your latest work and I thought, oh, God, that can't be it. So what's, <laughs> what's happened? Have you actually put any out or? Uh, yeah, uh, I've been putting uh, uh, some music out with uh, Lab79, uh, uh, Manage, MC Killer, Complex, Rain, w aka Wassy's Face, who you guys will know from the day, WRC. Exciting, exciting. Can't wait to see that. Yeah. All right, mate, what's your rhyme in the wild? All right, my rhyme in the wild, I've got a uh, condenser mic. Condenser mic, yeah, all right. On, on a stand that extends in height. <laughs> nice, nice. That's made out of a metal pipe. <laughs> nice, nice. And the legs are tri. <laughs> <laughs> and I've also got a shoebox that's red and white that's Ooh. invented by the heads at night. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> oh, my. The heads. Oh, my. The heads. That's my team. Their heads. <laughs> that was, I say, very nice. Four rhymes over one item as well. That was that's sick. Next up, Doc Brown. Mm. Obviously, a pleasure to have you on the show. What what are you up to at the moment? What are you doing? What, what's your what's your what's your thing? Oh shit! I've j I, I just finished my third movie since August. So I've done like three movies. I didn't I'm show up. Gassed. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I'm feeling like a bit of a boss. And uh, at the moment, I'm not doing anything nearly as exciting. I'm just I'm recording some audio books for Benjamin Zephaniah. Mm. Yeah, wicked. And you recently like, like a kid's book out, didn't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just bought out my first novel for older kids. Gassed about that. Um, but yeah, like to, to do this is like one of those things where it's like, fuck, because I've been out the gym for like, at least five six years I, you know what I mean it's I, like syllables and shit fucking just even thinking about rhymes it's like you know what I mean you've got to sort of refocus it's different well look different. you don't get any fucking it's, it's a career highlight shuff just because you're the, the biggest the biggest dude in here doesn't mean you don't get any leeway you don't get any leeway all right in the world. Fuck that, let's see what you got all right. the pity party. come on I've got like all, all, all of these are like a bit of an insight into my psyche, I think, now. Because obviously I just spent, I spent the night last night going to bed, like looking around my room. <laughs> and then I, I thought just start close to home with my necklace, right? Look at this. Hey! Cute, cutest little mouth organ. <laughs> Musical about orphan. <laughs> Check this out. Check this out. Can you see that? No, I can't. That's an Uber, Uber trip to South Morden. <laughs> and trust no me, way. this is super shit without Gordons. Hey. <laughs> I'm not even mad at that. That's four <laughs> items, but I'm happy. No, yeah, There's double the four items allowed. <laughs> He's overdone it, but fucking that's... Uh, if he's going to do that, I'll change my thing as well then, bro. <laughs> no, no, Skirms, Skirms, you've done good enough. You your goal, uh, I, I, I only had the two. I only had the two, but when I, when I, went through, when I saw the Uber receipt, I was like, come on, bro. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uber trip to South Morden. That's from the, that's from the rap gods right there. And Bagnall. Yeah, Bagnall, as we, we've said already, I've got COVID, mate. All right? <laughs> and I'm not feeling great. And Good. I was lying in bed in pain and tired and exhausted. And do you know what I thought of? What? I thought of you, mate. What, why did you think of me? And I thought, why do bad things happen to handsome people? <laughs> and I thought about that phrase 
you know, I wouldn't wish this on my worst enemy. And I thought, you know what? I would wish it on you. You wish I had COVID? Yeah, instead of me. I, I wish you could take it. <laughs> I think you need to get some help. Anyway, what's your rhyme in the world? Slight skirmish. I wanted to find an item that had... Don't three... compare yourself to skirmish, you piece of shit. You are nowhere near his level and you never <laughs> will be. So let's fucking nip that in the bud before you get too comfortable with that. Oh, all right. Well, I, just wanted to find, I, I wanted to find an item that had three rhymes in it. and I Don't say like skirmish again. Don't say that. So what I've got is uh, a cup of coffee <laughs> with a picture of Buddy Holly. Oh. This is upper body. Uh, so that nice. is three in one. Right. So, and this that's is a rubber that. doggy. That is a rubber doggy. Rubber doggy. <laughs> right. Now. That's yeah. You didn't even say a lovely frothy cup of coffee. Well, it's just yeah. not, it's not frothy, but it is a lovely cup of coffee if you actually look at it. It's it's yeah. well made. It's just a shame you didn't you didn't put the, the, the rubber doggy in the cup of coffee as the reveal. Be better you if mean? you put it in there. Well, I, I thought about it. Originally I wanted to find to put a rubber doggy on a tub of toffee, but then I couldn't I didn't have that. So there's no such thing as a tub of toffee, is the reason for that. Well, you could get a tub of toffee, but if you just see a tub nice of this... toffee. Let's just never, never <laughs> no one has a tub of toffee. No, it's never existed. A tub of toffee is not a, a receptacle in which you find toffee. Shuffle, all I'm saying is you can buy this on soundslikeshow.com. Um, and that's all I'm saying. Now that's something he is right about. <laughs> Finally, you're talking my language, Bagnall. Okay. They found bits. Wow, shit. But please, who won that round, kid? Start, mate, with last place. I am going to go Bagnall fourth, to be fair. Really? He didn't Head make it. I mean, technically, it's the strongest yeah. rhyme if you're looking yeah. for value for money. Oh, the rhymes are superb. Yeah, of course. <laughs> I mean, whoever came up with them is a fucking genius, honestly. But well, Rubber Doggy wasn't there. That, that was me. I did come rubber up with Rubber Doggy. Over Rubber Johnny as well. Rubber Johnny would have been way better. Yeah, because what is a Rubber Doggy? Do you know what I mean? But it's, it's made of rubber. It's made of rubber. Okay, fine. All right, so third, I'm putting my man Tony. Second, I'm beating as long as I'm big bad and all, the prick. I'll take that. All right. Okay, this is what it's like when I'm against wow. you. <laughs> Second, uh, Doc Brown, first skirmish. Oh, musical about oh, orphan. Right. <laughs> Trust me. <laughs> Got to be because of the the four items. And so that's the only reason for it, Doc Man. But that was fucking crazy. I mean, crazy. cutest little mouth organ is the best sentence I've heard rhyming or not. Who calls a harmonica the cutest little mouth organ? That's not me. My dad. <laughs> my mum. We do. Is it or is it not? Is it or is it not? It actually nice. is. Like, no, is it or is it not the cutest little mouth organ uh, you've look, ever seen? Look, as much as I agree, is that not adorable as fuck? <laughs> I've got one for you. Bleeze is tripping while I'm eating chicken. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I agree with that. Bleez is tripping because he's eating chicken, but it was a clean decision. He's only pissed off because he's in number three position. Oh! Nice. I'm about to leave the kitchen. Jesus, right. listen. <laughs> <laughs> All right, look. All right, let's keep persistent. Come on. Let's keep... <laughs> Can we keep the rhythm? Now, as we go through this week's episode, we're going to be monitoring Twitter as well because we have a challenge for everyone watching to work on as we go through this episode. Whomever can come up with the best rhyme for restrictions are lifted will be our multilinguist of the week. So get on Twitter and use the hashtag sounds like show and we'll be retweeting as we go through and we'll announce the winner at the end. But for now, <laughs> it's round two. What does it sound like? Sounds like a multi to me. What does it sound like? Sounds like a multi to me. Okay, wow, woo, it's round two. The quick fire rhyme game. This is where I will give a team a word or words and then a clue as to what rhymes with that word. You can't just come up with any rhyme. You have to get the one from the clue. So if the rhyme scheme was undermining lyrically and the clue was Tony after a few pints, the answer would of course be a fucking liability. So, uh, <laughs> or skirmish. Do you two have a team name, Bag and Skirms? Um, we, we, thought, we thought of a few. No, we oh. didn't. No, we didn't, bro. <laughs> Don't um, 
Oh, we flipping did it, bro. Oh, wait, take take your cap off. <laughs> I feel like we could be bald bags. Oh, let's go. Let's go. Bald right. bags. I've got a freshie, bald so it's bags. Cool. Right, bald bags. bags. Bald bags. Bald bags. Bald bags. <laughs> bald bags. <laughs> Needed it, man. And we'll be uh we'll be double OAP. <laughs> double OAP. <laughs> All right. All right. <laughs> You can skip if you don't know, but give it a go, though. You have two minutes to answer as many as you can until we get to 15. Wagner and Skirmish, are you ready? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's All go. right. Three, two, one, go. Good to go. Ben and Jerry's. Cookie dough. Correct. Wow. Sports science, British comedy film. Sports science. Four Lions. Yes! Six, okay, massive. Chimpanzee. Rhyme Asylum performed here one night in Brighton. Skip. Skip Sorry. that, please. Okay, Lou Reed, martial artist. Uh, Bruce Lee. Yeah! yeah. Okay, favourite house guest. What Bagnall will do if his team wins? Favourite house guest. Skip it, man. Skip it, skip it, skip oh, it. Skip him at fucking shit. Okay, <laughs> major delays. Avoid a parking ticket by using the... Disable bay. No, you oh. absolute <laughs> bastard, you fascist. Pay in display. 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 How dare you? If you ever think of running for mayor or chief justice of the Supreme Court or becoming a judge or a lawyer, it's not going to happen if you're parking in the disabled bay to avoid a parking charge, you absolute piece of shit. Time back on. Right, okay, pay and display. Yes, you're correct. Dark Crimes, Nas song. Uh, past Times? Uh, skirmish, you like this song as well. I remember you saying once. This is for, this is for the double OAPs, I like. Oh, is dark, no. <laughs> What's it, where's it again? Where's it again? Dark Nars. Crimes, Nas song. <laughs> Skip. Nars. Okay, skip. Law and order. Luxury holiday destination. Bora Bora. Yay! Yes. Okay, Ooh. diet cola. Another type of drink. Diet cola, another type of drink. Uh... Skip. Skip, 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 skip. Skippy! I have a few options. Still, I did think that you won't care. Three rhyme asylum songs. I have a few options. Still, I did think you won't that you care. Won't, that you won't care. Bruv, ah, this is difficult. That's I don't remember so hard. Hey, you, come, come. Skip, What's the name skip, of the song, skip, skip, skip. Okay, Cincinnati, quick to shoot. Trigger happy. Yeah, yeah. yeah All right, and uh, Cab Journey, football player. Dan Murphy? Time! Yeah, he got that, he got that, he got that, he got that. Van Persie and Daniel Dan Murphy as well. Danny Murphy, really, innit? Danny, yeah, yeah, but but Dan Murphy. Murphy. I'm not getting that point. Hey, you know what's mad? How Shuffle vastly overrates rappers' abilities to remember the names of their own songs. Own songs, yeah. I don't remember, bruv. That was like 12, 13, 14 years ago, bro. Please wrote that one. So don't ever go to me. Please wrote that. Bastard. <laughs> All right, so yeah, you skipped. Uh, it was Chimpanzee. As the rhyme, and it was where Rhyme Asylum performed one night in Brighton. It was Slip Jam B. I was there. Oh, oh my days. There's no way I'm going to get that. For... For I don't remember that, man. man. That's bleeding. Hey, Tony, you and Daniels performed was there as well, bro. <laughs> bro, I can't remember not one Ian Daniels show. <laughs> one single Ian Daniels show. All right, so it was um, favorite house guest. And what will Bagnall's team do if they win? Paint the town red. Paint, Ooh, paint the town yeah. red. Oh, good one, good one. Uh, for the dark crime, that was a Nas song. Yeah. Was, I remember you liked it. Half time. time, yeah, it's my favorite Nas song. I don't know why it is. Half time. Bro, it's yeah. quick, man. It's the pressure's off. off. Bro. Pressure's off, bro. bro. Diet Cola. Another drink was lime and soda. Oh, oh. yeah. So the last one was your was your number 10 question. So that was, at, yeah, yeah. I have a few options. Still, I did think that you won't care. Killer instinct. Attitude problem, ill yeah. instinct, and who goes there? Oh, bruh, mad. <laughs> impossible. That's impossible. It That's is tough. Mad. Right, Tony, Tony and Duck, what's your, what's your team called again? Double OAP. What's it called? Double OAP. Double OAP. <laughs> Skip if you don't know. Give it a go, though. Three, two, one. All right. 
Go. Okay. First Lady, Richard Pryor and Gene Wilder film. Stir crazy. crazy. Yes. Right. Okay. Right Cannonball. era. Right era. Keep it there. Breaking Bad actor. <laughs> Say again. Cannonball. Breaking Bad actor. Aaron Paul. Carouge. Okay. Bedpan. Tony D's one of these is the highest viewed on Don't Flop. Okay, see me by the rocks. Doc Brown's character in Dez. Ah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, I can't remember, man. <laughs> uh, <laughs> my character. Ah, oh, I don't name? remember, man. Don, I thought, no, what was his name? Do you want to skip? skip? Uh, yeah, skip. I can't remember, skip. man. Okay. Oh. Starving to yeah. death. That'll cost a lot. I'm in the lift. Yeah, yeah. Uh, okay. Well done, well done. Arms dealer, tell your fortune. Palm reader. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Okay, hey, swing and a miss. Doc Brown 2004 album. What did I get? Citizen Smith. Yeah, yeah. Okay, <laughs> insightful <laughs> washing machine. Spin cycle. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's domestic Ooh. Tony. All right. <laughs> Alex Lane, England footballer. Did I get? Harry Kane. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Spider-Man takes loss in a doping scandal. Three world-class female models. Spider-Man takes loss in a doping scandal. So you got Kate Moss, Naomi Campbell, Kate Moss, Naomi Campbell, Spider-Man. Was it Spider-Man? Yeah. Spider -Man. Oh, no, not Heidi, no, it's Heidi Klum. Heidi, uh, I was Heidi thinking Clam. Heidi Klum as well. <laughs> Heidi her Clam. aquatic equivalent. Hide, yeah. hide her clam. <laughs> <laughs> um, um, Five uh, seconds. I know that like, Cindy Crawford. I don't know any models, bro. Spider Man. <laughs> Spider Man. <laughs> oh, that's time. That is time. Uh, All I what the fuck is Spider Man? The D in Tony D stands for domestic. <laughs> <laughs> yes, he does. He's an air fryer and now he's a spin cycle too. I see you. Man, you only, well, you skipped the See Me By The Rocks. That was your character, Doc. Well, yeah, well, who was he? Was he called? DC Brian Lodge. DC Brian Lodge. DC Brian Lodge. Oh, fucking hell. I mean, it's you. You know how man. I fucked up that question? You. That's, that's so fucked up because you know what I thought you said was Derek and not Dez. So I was thinking, I don't, well, I don't remember no. Derek. I was, I'm serious. Give me this. Dez was last year. I could I could have got that. <laughs> Shit. Your, your character's name was Brian. Brian Lodge, yeah. Brian. He's a real guy. He's a mixed race guy who was in the force oh, at Harringay. He was in the Met in the 80s. the face of the planet called Brian. <laughs> you know, he was adopted, T. He was adopted. That's why. Oh, he, oh, okay. Um, okay. Yeah, he got, he got a white name. <laughs> it all makes sense now. I just got um, Saigon's book and he's running Brian. And like, he's the only black guy called Brian I've like, ever bucked up in my life. Like, it's I don't know any it's black Brian's anywhere. No, I worked with no, one. No. I worked with one. I worked with one. <laughs> Question 10. They missed up the first one. So yeah, it was for Spider-Man, lads. Anyone got it? Yeah, who the fuck was that? Spider-Man takes loss in the Dopa scandal. You've got the Kate Moss and the Omer Campbell. So Spider-Man, Tyra Banks. Oh, Tyra Banks. Of America's <clears throat> Next Top Model fame. That is I mean, a double OAP. That is a double OAP reference. Yeah, yeah that's, but that's you know, nice. at the same time, like, I thought this show was going to be serious on its syllables. And man and banks. Are you having a laugh? I don't know. Spider-Man, Tyra Banks. I teach phonics to seven-year-olds. And banks and man, we're not teaching that sound, bro. It's not the same. It's not the same. But the beautiful thing is, we all know who wrote that song because <laughs> he claimed it. So that's not my. Oh, problem. he's fucking going off on one now, is he? All right. All right. All right. Blame, <laughs> the Blame the vid, mate. Blame the vid. Tony, last yeah. time you were on this show, you let loose a bit of bleeds. You started going at him. You let off him like a, a wild dog. You embarked on a tirade of hate and abuse, which has lived on infamy and on our precious channel. Do you have something to say to him this time? Um, uh, should I do it again? <laughs> <laughs> I think you should now that he's just trying to throw me under the fucking bus. Yeah. <laughs> now we move on to round 2.5. <laughs> now 2.5 is called Ascension. Now there's a website app slash app called Cameo that can give you the opportunity to receive a video from your favorite celebrity. So what I've done is I've gone through and found six rappers on there. And I want you to take a stab at how much a video from these various rappers will cost. Well, why is it called Ascension? Huh? Why is that called yeah. Ascension? Is that not obvious? 
no. is what we're like hoping to get to that level where we can charge. Like, no, no, no. So like camera. Ascension, as in the Ascension Health Company, which is the biggest pub, uh, private health company in America, what? which one of its biggest ones is called the St. Vincent Children's Hospital, which was renamed later the Peyton Manning Vincent Hospital because of his philanthropic work that he did for kids. And Peyton Manning is from the Colts, the team called the Colts, and they're bred in Indiana. And Indiana is the home of Tom Kelly, who was a singer-songwriter who worked with Billy Steinberg. <laughs> and they co-wrote the song, I Drove All Night, which was by Cindy Lauper on an album called A Night to Remember, who did one of the backing vocals was by Larry Blackman, who did a song <laughs> called Word Up. By Cameo. By Cameo. That of course. Is, I'm so sorry, man. This is all about should have got that straight That's, away. That is simple. I should have known that. How much for one video, and these are generally between 30 seconds to a minute, for like a shout out for like happy birthday or keep going or, you know, do whatever. How much do you think Joel Ortiz charges for one of these videos? They usually improvise. They just they just say, hey, happy even, going, happy birthday, blah, blah, blah. How much Joel do you think? would be someone that did that, right? $250. <laughs> $50 from Bagnall. $250. Oh, $250. $250, okay. Skirmish, what do you reckon? Probably about $500. $500, Tony? Um, yeah, I'm going to say $350. Doc? Yeah, I mean, it's in the same region, like $450. I'll go $450. I mean, for Doc, this is like asking a politician how much a pint of milk is. He's like, oh, I don't know, £10 million? <laughs> and we're like, come on, <laughs> Who knows? Who knows? I've got so much fucking money now, I don't even know why I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Joel Ortiz is a hundred dollars. Hundred, one zero zero dollars. Bargain. All okay. right, now how much do you think the game charges? Thousand. Uh, yeah, he's a weirdo, so it's going to be up. I say two thousand five hundred. Two thousand five hundred, duck. I say a bag. Three hundred dollars. Three hundred. Three hundred dollars. Three hundred dollars from the game. Yeah, that's it. It's not bad. All right, now what about Ghostface Killer? I reckon Ghostface is just whacking him out for cheap. 50. You reckon? I reckon he's overcharging, I reckon he's overcharging Ziggins for what they did to the Cold Crush. <laughs> <laughs> he, like, he got a lot of wallabies to buy. So mm -hmm. I'm going to say Clark Wallabies. 750. Mm. All right. I'll tell you now, it's $250. Raw. Anyone know, you know Bun B? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, of course. Of course you know Bun B. Yes, is? Oh, a uh, hundred. Uh, 50. Yeah, buy that. 50. 50. 75 dollars. 75. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Flavor Flav. Oh, uh, 500. We're talking big time for that. Do you know what? Does anyone remember when Flavor Flav was performing on your MTV reps and the crap pack fell out of his collar? <laughs> 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 Right. So if he just needs to re up now, I'm talking yeah. like maybe fifteen bucks, fifteen $20. bucks. Yeah, twenty dollars, <laughs> twenty dollars. <laughs> right, flavor flavor is two hundred and fifty dollars. Woo! Okay. Wow. Last one, Snoop Dogg. Oh, come on. Bag of weed. How much? Four bag of weed. <laughs> five hundred again. Five. Nine hundred. Nine hundred. Nine hundred dollars. I know for a fact. I know for a fact. My guy does not work for anything other than big bucks. I ain't said this shit in any interview, and I've done a lot of interviews this year. But the contracts just come to an end, and I can say it publicly. You see the Just Eat ads. Yeah. Yeah. I wrote that shit. I, I knew it. Oh, I knew it. Do you know? Wait a minute. <laughs> Are you talking about? Did somebody say, just eat me, get yeah. delivery like a G? A G. So, mm. Doc, do you know a rich oh, guy? Warming eat? up with the miso soup. Miso <laughs> bossy, <laughs> miso <laughs> snoop. <laughs> Doc, you know, oh, I was offered to Harry it. Baker to write, or like Harry Baker came up to me and said that he was potentially writing it, and then I didn't know who did it, but... Yeah, I beat out a couple I love of those between like, Doc Brown and Harry Baker. That's crazy, man. How, like, uh, obviously nuts. that... That advert's become such a fucking huge success. How mad is it? I literally see it every time it comes on. Everywhere, everywhere. Everywhere, brother. So you ghost yeah. wrote for Snoop? Yeah. And now yeah, you're yeah. the 008. He, 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 he had to sign the contract. He had to sign the contract. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He had to sign yeah. the contract. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Like this British guy <laughs> trying to act like Snoop. He had to sit there and How listen. How awkward to it. is that? <laughs> Very oh, awkward. Funny. Oh, I, I, and you know, he's he's so much about the peas that they came back and they were like, the ad is a hit. We want to do a Christmas one. He agreed. I obviously agreed. But then at the last minute, he refused to be in it, but still took the peas. He took every bit of those peas and they had to get a puppet dog to perform the bars on the Christmas one. Did um, Snoop change any of the lyrics when he listened to it or did he go? With no, it? he just fucked up the flow a couple of times. <laughs> I was like, that's not how I flowed it. Like I, so I, I gave you the best Snoop flow. And you fucked it up a little bit. Oh, I, say, I, could, I couldn't say shit. Snoop Doc on the fucking chat. <laughs> so next time you want to do that, honestly, you keep 75% of it. I'll write it. Take 25%. <laughs> even well, if I you mean, what we should seriously talk about when this show is over is getting this show syndicated properly. Do you know what I mean? I'm the guy to speak to about that. That's what we should really be doing. I mean, that's because what we panel, were doing. panel shows are fucking shit, man. They're all it's shit it. and they're all derivative. Same this shit. is this has got something special going on. What's that? Any show you can watch where there's a man eating corn on the cob, like just me. <laughs> <the show. laughs> it's already <laughs> next level. <laughs> it's winning. It's already winning, isn't it? <laughs> Okay, we move on now to round three. This round is called Count Up. I'm going to give everybody 30 seconds to come up with a setup and a punchline which needs to rhyme on a scheme that I and Blees decide and pre provide. At the end of that 30 seconds, you're going to have to perform them for Blees to rank them from first to worst. Okay. The scheme today for the Count Up is viewing pleasure. Viewing pleasure. All right. It's quite a tricky one because we've got an elite group with us, and Bagno is also here. So. Let's make sure it's a good one. You've got 30 seconds starting in three, two, one, go. And remember, it's a setup and a punchline. You can go to four lines if you want. You can even go to eight if you've got the time, but it's viewing pleasure. Here's the line scheme that you've got to write it on. All the skills, all the skills. I think these guys have got the skills. Viewing pleasure. What does it sound like? This good question. The old to answer. In your bars. There's quite a few beauties on this as well, isn't it? Yeah, and there's not much time. There's five seconds left. Oh, it goes so quick. Oh, shit. Time. Okay, hands up where I can see them. Doc Brown. <laughs> I've got nothing. I've got nothing. <laughs> I've got That's nothing. Fine. Tony, you first. What did you get? For your viewing pleasure, it's bare skin teeth like a nudist center. Very good. Okay, a nudist center. I've heard of those in the news. Okay, skirmish. What have you got? There's nothing on TV that uh, satisfies my view and pleasure. So I'd rather go outside and exercise and do things such as tennis is what I do for leisure. <laughs> Fuck those, man. Like... <laughs> do for leisure. Do for leisure. Okay. Do for leisure. All right. Uh, Doc Brown, what did you get? For your view and pleasure. I'm doing better than you, my brother. Uh, <laughs> this poo, I don't know. I got nothing. <laughs> that was good. That was, that was good. good. I don't have a punchline. No, it, was, it, was, it was fine. I mean, you dissed me. Um, all right, Bagnall, what have you got? Um, for my viewing pleasure, uh, it's kind of like you shuffle because uh, you's an extra. But really, if you think about it, why are you getting animated? Because you think the Moomin's better. Terrible. What yeah. the fuck does Terrible. that Terrible. I just mean, said one. You think the Moomins? You think the Moomins? The, 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 the little white fucker. Well, yeah, they're like the little hippo boys. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the Moomins mm. better. You it's, a it's a reach. It's a reach. Moomins better. better. Look, I was really struggling with that one. Please, what, what do you make of that? Who's, who came last in that? I'm not having Moomins better. I'm not having. <laughs> well, that's fourth bag. I'm sorry, mate. What? Love... Doc didn't even finish. Doc didn't even minute. finish. He didn't Wait have. Minute. I didn't what? finish. Wait, Wait a minute. minute. It's, it sounded punchy. Doc then. didn't finish, and I didn't lost finish. to Doc. Do you know what? I'm going to go third skirmish. I'm going to go second. Yeah, I'm not even pony. mad at that. I'm not even mad. So. Second pony <laughs> and first Doc. I am going first Doc. To be fair, you and Doc three straight first. and perfectly flowed. It, it didn't. <laughs> That's like a bar and a half, though. Like. It was a bar and a half. I said, for your viewing pleasure, I'm doing better than you, my brother. And then I said, poo. 
I'm gonna have a quick look through the answers from Twitter. Restrictions are lifted? Okay, give me a minute. Someone else has said, Jimmy uh, Cricket, pink mm. ribbons on gift sits. You listen, yeah. you listen, you shithead. The position <laughs> has shifted, now restrictions are lifted. Someone else said, Van Morrison's album, Into the Mystic, pretty cool. Nice. Militaristic, someone has said. Blink and you'll miss it. That's good. That's nice. That's good. Interlinguistic, criminalistics, mm. grief stricken and livid. <laughs> I love the idea it's that you're grief stricken. You, you, someone's just died. Livid. Livid. Well. livid. <laughs> I'm fuming and mourning. Restrictions are lifted. Any particular listed? Or are we willing to risk it like dipping a biscuit into a maleficent liquid? Liquid. <laughs> How ridiculous is this? Uh, Sprint to the finish. Yeah. Uh, a mm -hmm. malicious, vindictive, bitter and twisted, sick and sadistic, villainous cynic who picks on innocent victims. Boris. Yeah. I think I can guess. <laughs> Boris, political bagnell. Well, we know what he's saying. We know what he's saying, don't we? <laughs> good ones, man. Some Boris. Really good ones. Really good ones, man. Do you know what? Uh, pushing the bar, mate. Uh, Jiminy Cricket, that's up there. Yeah, yeah that's, so that's my favourite one, yeah. That's and tight. Blink and You Miss It. Those, yeah, those two, blink and you miss those two are fire, man. I, I love it when you hear like a just oh, a no, normal... sorry, sprint to the finish is a sick one. Sprint to the finish, blink and you miss it. When you hear it like a normal English phrase, a phrase that's worked yeah. into a multi syllab. Yeah. You know, when you hear that shit, because you know it's not like forced. Do you know what I mean you fucking yeah. that's that rhyme yeah. aside? Yeah. So bad, like yeah. trying to squeeze a square peg into a round hole, but blink yeah, and you miss facts. it. That's, yeah. that's shit that people would just say, do you know what I mean? That's solid, I love that. solid, man. Solid. And that's the Rhyme Asylum shit. That is honestly, Fuck like, you. my fa yeah. like that's what I love from Rhyme Asylum, was just, yeah, like, bro. all those kind of phrases. Bro, this is, that's possessed, bro. That's possessed, man. Trust <laughs> me, bro. That's yeah, possessed, he was possessed my bro. Favorite. He was always, like, Thank ahead, bro. Hey, Doc, you know, bro, you saw Possessed from early, bro. Yeah, bro. Yeah, you saw him from early. Just, yeah, yeah, bro. Yeah, he blew me away, man. He blew me away. I've watched everybody come in and out of there. And yeah, there's just bro. certain rappers. I just be like, you know, you see that whack rapper like trying to get the mic. He'd be like, let yeah. this motherfucker finish because he could actually yeah, spit. Yeah, yeah. You know I mean? <laughs> Before we get onto you fucking killing the vibe again. Tony, Yo. I came up with the best battle bar against you that anyone's ever said. Do you want to hear it? You claim to be the king. That's just a royal veneer. You wouldn't say that shit if any lawyers were near. I've got throwaways on napkins that would destroy your career. So come on, Hamlet, why are you trying to bring that poison in here? <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna assume that there's poison in Shakespeare's Hamlet somewhere. Yeah, he poisons his ear. Poisons, he puts the poison How in the his ear. How the hell you poison somebody's ear? Yeah. I didn't write it. I didn't write the thing it. Is, the I thing about that bar is it's like, it's clever, but no one gives a shit. Do you know what I mean? It's I thought he was ones. a fucking teacher. No one knows the reference. <laughs> He's a yeah. teacher and he's got Hamlet in his It all his comes name. down to the Hamlet. It all comes down to Hamlet. And you're talking to the crowd that don't read Shakespeare. What the hell has ever read Hamlet? You're a teacher. To be fair, your second name is Hamlet. Well. name? That's where it comes from. I don't, I don't give them, is it better to suffer the slings and arrows to seven-year-olds, bro? There you go, you fucking know it then. You know it then. <laughs> Okay, round four. Now, this is always on a specific theme. And before you answer, you have to raise your hand and say, sounds like, and I will choose who gets to answer first. Last okay. episode, we did wrestling. But what have we got this week, Mr. Blizé? Blizé. Seeing as we got the Olympics this summer, we're going to do Olympic events. Okay, then? Okay, so this means I will be going through 10 rhyme schemes one by one and the first person to shout out sounds like and raise their hand, I will pick you and you can tell me which Olympic event rhymes with the scheme I've given you. If you just shout it out, then you lose a point for you and your team member. So let's have a test trial before we go up. If you're looking for an Olympic event that rhymes with wake me up before you go, go. So not wake me up, just before you go, go. What would be the, the sport that rhymes with that? Water polo. Huh? Water polo. Sounds like. You're goddamn right, but you have to. Oh, I thought this was a practice. I thought that was yeah, a practice round. We're practicing oh, so that you can learn the fucking oh. rule. That sounds like. Gotcha. So you gotta, do, like... you gotta do the uh, 1938. Yeah, okay, well, cool. You might have to make it. 
<laughs> Keep it. Everyone must see Kyle, otherwise you don't get it. <laughs> okay, gotcha. I've got 10 questions. Fastest sounds like first. There's no time limit. Yeah. I'm going to start now. Okay. Card receipt. Card receipt. Oh, I got it. Sounds like, sounds like, sounds like. Brown. Archery. Correct. Oh, Archery in the Olympics. Correct. Yeah, of course it's in the Olympics. Where else? Okay. Late morning. So it sounds like Liam. Like skateboarding. Yes. Bro, skateboarding. That's only really this year, though. That's only this oh, year. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I'm uh, saying. This year. Bro. Okay. Shape shifting. Oh, sounds, like, sounds like, like weightlifting. Correct. Tony. Okay. David Essex. Or King Kong. Sounds like Bagnell. Table tennis or ping pong? Oh, yeah. Well <laughs> yeah. Yes. Go on, Bagnell. That was a last minute edition. Sorry, please. I just oh, thought. Right. Well done. No, it's good. It's good. It's good. All right. Street Hospital. I don't know what one of those is, but Street Hospital. Is that a TV show? Oh, okay. Very good. Lean on the ball. That's minus a point. Last one was right. What do you mean that's minus a point? Piss off. Sounds like. Skirmish. Beach volleyball. Ooh. Ooh. Love to see. It. I love to see it. Oh my God. Mm. All right. White Bronco. White Bronco. <laughs> Sounds like Agnel. Taekwondo. Right, you fucking got that from the chat. I'm not, not taking that. You got that from the chat. <laughs> no, I didn't. I didn't. Look I didn't. at that smirk on your face. I did not. Y front. So it sounds like uh, 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 Blagnall. High jump. Oh, yeah, he's fucking. Uh, uh, he's, he's in his groove. He's in his groove. He's in his groove. All right, catacombs. Sounds like skirms. Hammer throw. Yeah. You love oh, to fuck. fucking see that. Of course. Oh, oh you're on Blagnall. We need one. We need one. So annoying. We need one. We need one. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Justin one. Bieber. The Justin Bieber journals. What? <laughs> so now just just Tony D. Like, nah, Bagnall like, no, got that. Yes, Tony. What is it? Where's the man? Did Tony Bieber? Where's it? Where's it? Hundred meter hurdles. Hundred meter hurdles. Hundred meter hurdles. It's actually a hundred and ten meter hurdles. Hundred 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 meter hurdles. The Kew Gardens. I did not know this was a sport, and even when I saw it, I thought he was lying. And then he said, "Like, no, yeah, it is a sport." It's a pretty much. It's a dead syllable on, on the answer. So, Kew Gardens. Yeah, the the Q the Q Gardens. Give you a little clue because it's tough, man. It begins with C. C S. Come on. It involves water. And a boat, a small boat. I don't know them sports, man. Bro, this is for posh white people. They do not know these sports, bro. What you got? What the hell? It's too hard. All right. So if it's, if I said it was if, so, it's Kew Gardens, and it's canoe. Slardon. Slardon. Canoe. Slalom. Canoe slalom. Okay, that's slalom. hard. Slalom. Bro. I don't even know that. Canoe slalom. Yeah. yeah. Nah. That's not. Nah. That sounds like the English version of Cool Runnings. Right, Doc Brown. I know you do a lot of acting work these days, and you work with um, Ricky Gervais sometimes. Um, <laughs> <There we go. laughs> I'm a bit of an actor as well. Um, right. What 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 steps do you think I should be taking to get into the the stratosphere. Well, I say presenting panel shows is the first thing you need to 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 bin, right? Get, get rid of. <laughs> <laughs> because you know, you know when you see like James Corden in a film, you're just Big like, time. it's James he, Corden. He might be my favorite actor of all time. <laughs> He's my De Niro for most people, I think. Do I need to create anything for myself so that people can see me? Yeah, do some monologues. Do some like record yourself doing some monologues. Well, like a show reel. Just be. Yeah, yeah, a little show reel. 
I think the main thing is getting in the room, getting in front of casting directors and, and the, the, you're already on the right path with this kind of shit. Like I got auditions from doing stand up. Do you know what I mean? So like there was people in the audience who were looking at me thinking part of what he's doing is acting, you know, mm. like the in-betweeners was the first thing I got, you know? Yeah. And uh, that was from, that was from the writers seeing me act, uh, seeing me do stand up on stage and thinking he the could probably episode. do this. Yeah. He could probably do this. I've been working and I've been sending my show roll out to people and there's, I'm just not getting any replies. Could you maybe give me a bit of feedback on my, on my show reel? <laughs> Why is it show reel? Dun, 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 dun. Dun, 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 dun. Margaret, dun, 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 pour me another dun, drink. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, 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 dun. I'm not letting you go. Do you understand me? Never. I'm never letting you go. Do, 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 do. Oh, that's powerful. Do, 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 do. You gotta let me go. Do, 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 do. It's okay. I don't mind. God damn you, you son of a of a bitch. I'm gay. And that's okay. Hello, is that the president? Well can you get him please? Oh man, what the fuck am I doing? <laughs> There's too many of them. She's in the tripod, oh my day. <laughs> There's only one way. Uh, bro, tell my wife yet? I'm gay. <laughs> and that's okay. The music. The maddest thing about that is the real game is not a million miles from that. Like there must be tapes of me doing auditions where I look <laughs> like at least 75% dumber than that. I went to, yeah. I, do you remember the film, The Martian? Remember the film, The Martian? Yeah. With Matt Damon, right? Yeah. It's mainly a one man movie, but he had a little crew before like he, he, he goes off to, to Mars and they like, he gets rid of all of them so that they can survive. And then he goes on to Mars, right? So I auditioned to be one of the guys in that crew who had like zero lines, but he's in it like for half the movie and then he's out, right? Yeah. So they wanted to do the dramatic scene where Matt ejects them from the ship in the little pod. And I'm looking at this, there's no fucking lines. It's just stage directions. So I said to the casting director, oh, do you want to do some like fake lines? Do you want me to do an accent? Do you want... She's like, no, 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 we're just doing the scene. And I was like, right, okay. She's like, so it's a, it's a huge moment. <laughs> go, let's go. I, I literally, I was just sat there like, I'm getting expelled <laughs> from a ship in a pod. So I'm just like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> and she literally, she goes, okay. She goes, okay. I, I actually, I like where you're going with it. Some strong decisions. You're making some strong decisions. She goes, strong decisions. but remember, it's, you're, you're heading into zero G, right? <laughs> There's no gravity in space. So give me like 30, 40% more weightlessness. Okay, we're rolling. <laughs> the best acting I did in that audition would have been However, I reacted to her telling me that before I did take two. <laughs> you know what I mean? uh. What does it sound like? <laughs> Sounds like a multi to me. What does it sound like? Sounds like a multi to me. Okay, so we move on to round five of Sounds Like. If you were comparing Bova Day's bleats, then you would be looking at them in terms of bar for bar. So, who's going first? Well, it's gonna be Tony versus Skirmish. Oh my god. Your mind scheme is what? what, please? It is, Eat it, eating for two. Eating for two, as pregnant women must do. Eating for two. Okay, it is going to be starting on Tony D. Three, two, one, go. Uh, feel is the shoe. <laughs> feel is the shoe. Feel is right. the shoe. Let's hurry up and get this finished because I'm needing a poo. <laughs> Vulgar, yeah? Uh, girlfriend, and she's in the nude. <laughs> <laughs> Tony's always so smug when he does one. He's like, ah. <laughs> After I've gone downstairs 
needing a poo, I'm going straight to the kitchen and eating some fruit. <laughs> Mm. <laughs> Ruffles. Ruffles. Eating, eating it. It's got the word eating in it. I'm not impressed. Oh, um, shit. Oh, my bad. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Eating for two. So, my bad. Cool. <laughs> all right. Um, I think I won the last time I was on, and now I'm beating you too. <laughs> well, that was two. But that was two. True. All right, that's a T-O-O. Different words. <laughs> Different words. Can you spell? <laughs> all right. He said he's been on it twice. Yes, he's speaking the truth. Um, in Double P, there was two members from West and East, there was two. <laughs> East, there was two. I think I know. Is it Double P, the crew? <laughs> <laughs> oh. Double P is the crew, sorry. Double P is the crew. Yeah, nice. Oh, and I just looked in the chat and reveals in the room. Oh, time, nice. time, 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 time. <laughs> that was VVV good. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, Blaze, who do you reckon won that one? It was tricky, but sort of for the wrong reasons. But it won't be when you fucking read my reviews. Oh, <laughs> fuck's sake. Blaze is the dude. <laughs> Blaze is I'm the dude. I'm trying to fucking butter him up. <laughs> Hey, the only reason why I'm giving it is because I said eaten. Two was used twice. I'm going to give it to uh, Skirmish. I'm going to give. Let's it to go. Them. All right. Also, <laughs> <goes. laughs> Tones five points. Tones had a go at him for using eating, but then he came back with two, and then the other two as well. After we mentioned the same two. All right. Next up it is Doc Brown versus. Bagnall, and your rhyme scheme is going to be what, please, please? Orders received. Okay, yeah. you've got a minute and a half. I believe we are going to start on Bagnall. Three, two, one, go. Um, it's me versus you, and I heard talking is cheap. Talking, yeah. Mm. Interesting. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm going to ban your rhyme journey like I'm border police. Um, ooh, um, I'd rather that with all your money you bought me a Jeep. <laughs> uh, uh, um, uh, of course, it's uh, seen. <laughs> I don't know what that means. <laughs> uh, it's lovely at the moment in Essex, they say the morning is ream. Ream. It's an Essex phrase. It's an Essex phrase. Is it fuck? Ream. Yes. Search it. Yes. Uh, but yeah, I'm from Wilsdon. Did you know that I was born in the green? I. <laughs> I yeah. Half a minute left. Yeah, I actually do because I came around Kensal Rise uh, with you and you talked to the screen. Oh, that's fucking true. <laughs> um. <laughs> talk to the screen. Is that something I didn't know about? Talk again. <laughs> Um, uh, uh, oh fuck! I'm running out of rhymes. It's like a disorderly left. dream. Ten seconds. Oh, it's you're like a disorderly dream. You're so lame. You think Mormons are neat? Me. <laughs> uh, uh, all right, time, 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 with, time, time, oh, time, 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 Mormons are neat. Mormons are neat. A quarter of I lost. I lost a. Oh, mate, there's so many rhymes I could come up with, but I need of more course, time. It's always, it's always <laughs> the we. I've got a medical condition, so my balls at my knees. <laughs> <laughs> also true. Are you talking to me? Right, are you talking on. to please? Come on, please. Right, what, what, it, it, who won that one? That was that was actually... A that bit... was Bagnall, man. That was Bagnall. I don't know. I don't know, actually. It was, it was... Oh, if he's judging, you never go. You do can tell. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it'll be like, a uh, skirmish won that one. We go, what? What? <laughs> hey, what? What was it? What was the scheme? What? Orders received. Orders, orders received, yeah. You need, orders to received. you need to be careful, Tony. You're on thin ice like Torval and Dean. <laughs> Bruv, I'm, so boring, the... bruv, I'm falling asleep. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Tony just did one of my favorite hand sheet. movements ever. My favorite, which is this. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh, I'm so scared. I'm gonna come do this. <laughs> to be fair, though, Bagnall said talk twice. Did he? 
did. That's border in peak. You said <laughs> five border in peak. I expected more of you, G. I'm going to give it to... Uh, for <laughs> your true. total true. police. <laughs> <laughs> and that was nice, actually. The border, border, border police was nice. Border from, police is dope. Was, was dope from yeah, Doc, was Doc Brown. I'm going to give it to Doc, man, yeah. Yeah, I th- yeah. Just about. I squeezed it. All right. Squeezed it, yeah. It, w- it, was, it, was, it was, I think, that's well-deserved. Someone said, all you can eat. That's pretty dope. All so, you can yeah, eat. Yeah, that is dope. Okay. After that last round, Ooh. I can announce... That skirms and bags, aka bald bags, have twenty five <laughs> points. That doesn't and feel like double O A P. Yeah, have twenty eight points. Hey. Which means hey. that they are the winners. Congratulations to them. You win two middle fingers up from everyone else. Yeah. Now, just before we finish, we'll have a final look through the audience's suggestions for restrictions that lifted on Twitter. A drink is a liquid. Someone said clitty, click, click, click. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still happy with um, Jiminy Cricket, to be honest with you. So our multilinguist of the week is Ujima Flip. If you think you can do any better, then leave your rhyme in the comments or on our Twitter, and we will have a look through some of them on our next week live show, on our next live show. Congratulations and thanks, everybody, for watching at home. Thanks to our guests, Bagnall, Tony D, Skirmish, and Doc Brown. Make sure to follow us on Twitter, YouTube, and Instagram. It's at Sounds Like Show. Be sure to join us in another two weeks' time and make sure to watch our previous episodes on YouTube. Yeah. But just before we finish, um, this uh, last fortnight, we had a much-loved part of the community sadly pass away um, last week. Brother Exhale, or Lee, um, he was a huge supporter of the UK battle rap and hip-hop, a musician in his own right, and he leaves behind a family who I'm sure are missing him terribly right now. He was also a huge supporter of this show. So in honour of him, our next episode's ticket sales will all go towards the GoFundMe set up to give him the best send off that he has possible. Yeah. Um, so any any person who buys the, the ticket sales next time, it all go towards that GoFundMe um, in memory of him. So yeah, thanks so much for his support and everything that he did and, and, and to everyone who sort of, whose life was touched by him. Um, thank you so much. And thanks everyone for joining uh, live tonight. We appreciate you hugely for watching every episode and it means a huge amount. Thanks to every single one of our panelists. It means the world. We love you all. Take care. Good night. Doc, one of the questions I actually wanted to ask you is that like you are like a, a, an actor, musician, writer, stand-up, celebrity, mastermind, runner-up. You're a very <laughs> eclectic career behind you. So like what 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 is like your favorite thing to do? What's what's your ideal way to make a living? You know what? I mean, deep down in my heart, like right down in my fucking bones. Deep down in my plums, as Will Ferrell would say, <laughs> like if if I if I could if I could make a living off rap, it would just be a dream come true. But like I realized early on, it's probably when I was like accidentally managing Poisonous Poets, I realized it was it was never gonna fucking happen. It's just too fucking hard. Not with you know? me in a crew. You have nah. never <laughs> nah. done with nah. me. Not ever. Nah. Uh, like you, you lot don't know. You lot don't know how hard I worked on Poisonous. Like. I was, a, I was a youth worker by trade them days. And I, I thought these are the sickest rappers I've ever heard in my life. I don't care, like UK, America, I don't give a fuck. And even like the guys that these boys were bringing to the table, like Pharaoh with all his guys, you know, um, like Bruiser and them and fucking me with Loki. And everyone we brought to the table was fucking yeah. sick. Do you know what I mean? And I thought this is worth, it's worth my time. So I'll be working full time doing youth work. And then I would go studio and it would just be me there. No one else is there. <laughs> like I'd be waiting. It got to the point where one time I got all the beats that we had and I recorded like an intro, right? Left 16 bars, did my 16, recorded a hook, left 16 bars, left 16 bars, did a bridge, re-recorded the hook, put it down, did like five, six of them type of things there. 
never got completed. It's like I, I couldn't make it easier. Tony, what's your excuse? excuse for evolution me? tournaments in the studio. Everyone's trying to record, and I'm there just whooping people on Pro Evo. Like, I don't care. About <laughs> Let's just play Nightmare. computer. I'm Nightmare. sorry, Doc. I'm a scumbag. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I apologize. Tony D. Tony D's like the Liam Gallagher of Oasis. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is yeah, that yeah, yeah, but, yeah. Is that but you know what? He's a fucking megastar. That's the thing. Like, I look back on it all now, and I think without that education, I wouldn't have the energy to do what I do today because it's all built off of that frustration. You know, when I first started watching Tony and, and Don't Flop and that, I was like, this is years. This is years of work and frustration and lack of fucking uh, appreciation of what we do coming out. Yeah. And, and as soon as I saw him back battling, I was like, no, I don't give a fuck who they bring to the table. No one's beating my guy. It's not happening. <laughs> Same way I used to feel about Reveal when we were kids. I was like, it's not happening because the hunger that these guys have and the shit that we were all going through, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. there's no, there's no question that I was, the, I was the, I was a youth leader in my normal job and I was the youth leader of, po of the poets as well. You, can you know, see, because you can my life was the most stable. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. everybody's lives were mad. You know what I mean? Everyone was going through some shit, so it's hard to manage. I <laughs> agree. Like, I, know I, that. Genuinely, like, apart from me, there's no one I can think of who would beat Tony comfortably these days. There's footage somewhere of Shuffle T murdering me. Absolutely. Kid, you've seen it. I've seen that. it. Like, don't get me wrong, wow. though. He, he wrote for it, and I turned up drunk and freestyled. Like, yeah, different <laughs> kettle of fish, right? Yeah, it was slightly different, but yeah, oh, man, he whooped my ass. Who was that? Like, wasn't it at some weird venue, and it was... It was yeah. in St. Albans. Yeah, it was St. Albans. Albans. Yeah, that's, that's a weird venue. And, um... There's no winners in St. Albans. <laughs> there was never a winner in St. Albans. So that's why. I remember the key line from Tony was... I am the Don't Flop champ. I did not write for this. That's what you guys <laughs> kept on drawing for the same line. I didn't write. I didn't write. Yeah. yeah. Terrible. The disrespect almost makes him win, to be honest. Oh, 100%. Yeah. It's like not showing up. The other person immediately loses because the other person is disrespected to the level that they've not attended. Because you know in some battles, when someone tries really, really, really hard and the other person doesn't, you almost think, well, they, they actually lost. They, yeah, yeah. Mm. It's it's almost pathetic that they tried so hard, but the other person is out <laughs> out doing it. Just, yeah. yeah, but also, you know when when I first started battling, you weren't even allowed to write, so yeah. it was like it was better to be fucked up because then I was less self conscious. Do you know what I mean? Mm. So you, it's like who, who did you battle? Did you ever battle uh, anyone? Only, I think anyone of note, I probably Sway Sway. Um, yeah. Sway to Sappho. Sway to Sappho, Pro man. Green. Had yeah. all his uh, he, was, he was the guy, man. Sway was beautiful. Sway was amazing them times. Like yeah, dude, I remember I when, I lost, when I lost when I lost to Sway, I lost to Sway in the quarterfinal of Mudlums, which was a thing that like Mud Family used to put on yeah. in Dingwalls. And uh I just I think I just met Reveal and Tony. You know, I'd known Reveal for a bit and then we met Tony. And um we went down to Mudlums. I don't know if you was there, T, but Revs, like He's such a fucking loyal motherfucker. He's like, he's like Tony Sirico, you know, he's like Paulie Walnuts, <laughs> but he's like 15, you know, he's like 15, 16. He, he came down. Yeah, an absolute beast. And I, I lost to Sway and he just, he just wasn't having it. And he went to their fucking estate in he Green Lane. Yeah, the like the next day or like the next day or like a week later. And he yeah. was like, bring out the one crew, bring them all out, Pirelli, all of them, Sway, bring yeah. them all out, yeah. Turkish, oh. Decipher, bring them all out, I don't give a fuck. And he just one by one, and he just guppied them all, like, on, be on <laughs> behalf of sounds me. Like like. Revs. Sounds like Rev store. <laughs> Different you know gravy, bro. When well, me Different and Rev gravy. ended up in the final of FKO Raw, and it's like yeah. a three round battle, and we ended up going six yeah. rounds, and he's relentless. Like, I was getting to the point where I can't do this anymore. It's a three round battle when we're on round six, and Rev's That's each right. And I, I, I did I did a PA that night as well. I did a PA, oh, I did like three yeah. songs or something like that. And we were just like, you know how gassed you get when you're young? We're like, we're taking over the world. <laughs> 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 we're taking over. You know who else was on stage that night doing PAs? It was me, Estelle, Estelle and Roots Maneuver. That's, like, that's crazy, man. Right? Wow. No one knows who any of us are. You know what I mean? That's wow. it's different times. Different times. Yeah, a whole well, different time. I love all those stories of them times when you hear about like Chester P beating Eminem or Kalashnikov. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they're Legendary, all like, man. 
Whereas everything's like film nowadays, there are all these like mad moments that no one's ever seen. Um, yeah, those days, if you were there, you were there, and if you weren't, you mm. weren't. You know, it's, I guess it's in those special, days, no one in a different no one, way. No one knew who Tony D was, but but now, obviously, if you <laughs> no want to know, all you have to do is Google him. And um... <laughs> what happened to Tony D? <laughs> <laughs> who is Tony in rap? <laughs> there I am. Look, there, there's that guy. <laughs> German one. There's Tony D. That is. <laughs> If, you ever want, if anyone's in doubt, Volkhaus Basel. That's Tony D. Nach einem KIZ concert in Volkshall Basel am 2019. Ah, das ist der Klassiker, ja? Das ist ein Klassiker. Klassik. If you translate, it says, I didn't write for shuffle. Skirmish. Yes, boss. Skirmish. Yes, boss. Rhyme Asylum was one of the most important collectives to literally over 30 people in the UK. And I mean that. <laughs> Guys, and I was one of them. have a huge <laughs> impact on the UK hip hop scene and opened the door to a lot of people in terms of the technicality in rap, just sheer acrobatics and, and, and that kind of thing and what could be performed with it. Yeah. Were you aware that you were raising the bar at the time? And what's it like making music now with that in the back of your head? Is that something you're always trying to live up to or what? Uh, back then, yeah, we, we always wanted to be like, proper, like, <laughs> it's like, come on, man, you know what I mean? Like, this guy, like, he's always got, <laughs> what did he even say? What did he even say? You're always willing to be double P. Yeah. Like, uh, <laughs> hey, but you know what's mad though, bro? You know what's mad? When, when we first went to the open mic to Bill Real in like 2003, I saw Doc freestyling whilst hosting, between every MC during the open mic, when us when we saw stuff like that, we're like, wow, man, like this is amazing, and we need to be on that level and, and try to take it even further as well. Like, you know what I mean? So yeah, we always wanted to be like MCs, just punchlines. Those are the guys we listened to. Eminem. I thought Blaze was doing a PCR test there. Sorry, sorry, it just distracted me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so just just punchline MCs, man. That's who, who we listen to, and, and, and that's yeah. what we wanted to do back then, man. You know what I mean? Uh, and, What's and, it like writing now? music now? Are, are you like, are you? Uh, do you feel like you've got to live up to a certain yeah. standard from that, or are you just like, I'm gonna make yeah, my own? Thing bro, and I, yeah, man. Like before, yeah, it, it always as, as a creative always plays in the back of your mind your previous work. Can I do better? Can I? Do you know what I mean? But I think when when you let go of that, it's open for you, man. You could do whatever you want, man. You know what I mean? So that's that's kind of the freedom I'm writing with. It's not as I, I do feel like there's a, and, you know what do you I mean? feel like there's an audience. Uh, this is not this is not a diss. Like it's a genuine yeah, yeah, question yeah. as someone who still wants to make UK rap. Like, do you feel there's like an audience for us, lot, or is it just like you're either loyal yeah, yeah, or there is. not? Do you know what I mean? Nah, there is an audience. There is an audience, man. There's an audience, bruv. There, there's people that still buy vinyl, buy CDs, buy merch. There's still an audience there, bruv. For, for the people that do what, what we do, 100%, man. Yeah, man, definitely, bro. Mm. You that, just got to do it. You just got to do it, bruv. You literally just got to yeah, do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's so that. many labels out there now, like underground UK hip-hop labels out there that are doing it, and they, 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 they're they killing it, bruv. So yeah, you just got to do it. Like, that's one thing like, I've learned. You just got to do it, bruv. People like Lee Scott, people like Lee Scott have been murdering it for fucking years, man. Yeah, right, right. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Blah, blah, are killing it. Blah record, they're killing man. it. I've been a fan for fucking Lee Scott. Like, I be honest. I think Doc kind of set the blueprint for what a lot of these people are doing today. Like, yeah. you see, I remember when Double P kind of filtered out and you made Citizen Smith and just went out, went touring, put the thing out, mm. and you appealed yeah. just to your fans, just to people who was going mm. to buy your thing. That's what you mm. can do now. But you kind of set the trend for that. Like, you was out there doing that quay, quay before anybody else was doing it, man. Like, oh, and now like, there's definitely still a... Um, yeah, there's, there's, a, there's a market for it, man. There's, there's people who just gonna, mm. they're gonna sit back. And the funny thing is most of them are like in their late 30s, early 40s. They're gonna be mm. sitting there just wanting them, their favorite rappers to come and put something out again. Mm. 